What's up guys, it's Shinji here again back in the video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the new sneak that we just got for Anime Vanguard's update 1.1. Now, it is a boss rush, which has been confirmed, but before we get into the sneak, I just want to say we are on our way to 5k subscribers, so make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you truly enjoyed today's video. Now, for those of you who are been in the server, I guess I'll just read this to you, bro. I'm most definitely not trying to get to the 8 minute mark. Most definitely not, bro. You know, but Pisip said, hey y'all, it's been a long while without any news for our next updates, which is unfortunate. We plan to release update 1.1, which would include a boss event, and then shortly thereafter, a much bigger update, 1.5. However, things clearly didn't go to plan. Some of the developers we commissioned ended up not doing their tasks in time, which forced us to push our scheduled release date back. We have been working on two updates in parallel, the first one being update 1.1, which is smaller, but has content and game modes that will will be released very soon. And then afterwards, we will focus on update 1.5, which includes a new game mode, full stage, gameplay mechanics, units, and more. Things are finally getting back on track now, and we are just testing out the game mode and fixing remaining bugs before releasing update 1.1. We're really sorry for a long wait, so as an apology, here's a stink of what's to come in update 1.1. Let's check this out. Okay. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's Sukuna's introduction into his boss raid, similar to what Igris' introduction was. Igris had a pretty good introduction as well too, you know, because it is a boss raid. And then Pisip also said, we will also post things of update 1.5 after update 1.5. Point one is released. Now there's a few things I want to go over and I just want to talk about with you guys in today's video and that's basically uh, when Pisip said that 1.1 it has content and game modes. Now I don't know what other game modes can be added with a 1.1 update. I'm pretty sure it's just the boss rush but take that with a grain of salt. I can be entirely wrong man. but it has content and if we scroll up just a little bit you see here Clay actually sneaked Panda holding him upside down. Now, I don't know if this is intentional. It just was supposed Clay chose. Uh, I don't know if Panda actually grabs you in the game. I don't know. I really don't know about this, right? That's the, that's the tricky thing. Cause this could be anything. I feel like Panda's going to be another unit in anime vanguards, if not another unit. He's going to be a mechanic within a boss rush that makes it more PVE for us, you know? And I feel like they're going to add that iconic Sukuna moment where he told everyone within his vicinity not to move until like the last second. I feel like they're going to add that in a boss rush. If they do, bro, I wonder how that's going to play out. Like, it's just going to be crazy, man. That's like, still going to kill us if we move? Like, what happens? So that's that's something to like look forward to, too, as well. I can't wait to see the mechanics that are actually provided with this boss rush update. But then they also said that update 1.5 will include a new game mode, a full stage, gameplay mechanics, units, and more. What I will say about that is that that new game mode, it has to be a Fanny Castle. It has to be. I could be wrong. Take this with a grain of salt. Not that I'm saying it is confirmed in any way, shape, or form, but I'm just saying that if they're working on two updates in parallel, I feel like update 1.5 is going to have enough content to keep us contempt until update 2. And adding a Fanny Castle is the perfect option for that. Or it could be something else completely different and I can just be wrong. But what I will say is that when this boss rate does come, if any developer is watching this, please take this in consideration. I kind of see the cons, but I feel like there's some more pros if you do add this. If you make the boss shock refreshable, like I said in my last video, it'll give us players more of an incentive to grind because a lot of people are gonna start complaining once they com completely fill out the, the boss shop and have nothing else to do, you know? It can be a weekly refresh. It could be once. It doesn't matter. I'm just saying like, even if just once, that gives us something to do. Now, just imagine if this curse shop was refreshable weekly, we will already be up 150 rerolls. You know what I'm saying? This is week two. Players wouldn't be complaining as much because we can just continue to buy things from here. You know what I'm saying? And I will also say as a future recommendation, again, if any developers watching this, I don't know if you guys played, what was that? I don't know if you guys played Seven Daily Sands Grand Cross, but the way they did their boss events is that they had multiple bosses and multiple shops, you know? So like, hopefully that is the future one day when we get like three bosses in the game and maybe for like a update 1.1, it can like, maybe for example, update 3.1 boss raids. You, you just recycle the bosses you already had to keep us players content, you know what I'm saying? So we'll have not one, but three bosses 
and three shops to get from. Now, those don't, those don't have to be refreshable because that'll be kind of overkill. That's like 300 rerolls if each shop has 50. I mean, it's up to you guys. I'm just saying, I'm just putting it out there. I just, I just want the replayability to be higher in this game because like I said in my last video, if you're not a tournament based player like I am, you're pretty much done with the game as of right now and you're waiting on the next update. And I just want the casual player to still enjoy anime vanguards the way I do. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man, that is all. If you truly enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, guys. Peace.